That's right. Whitelist stuff starting now. Yay! Thinking it might make sense for me to just... So construction components is going to be like construction and steel plates and all that's going to be a thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Maybe I just make my house make lots of that stuff. Uh, sure. If I have enough iron and things yeah. over there. I, was, I did get it making superconductor components, though, so it'll be doing oh, those for ages. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, because we, we're going to need quite a bit of those, aren't yeah. we? For, what do we need those for? Um, the, you need it for the antenna, for one thing. Um, okay. But there's a few sort of speciality components, like detector components and stuff that we're going to need. Right. Okay, interior... Yeah, interior plates are definitely a thing. Small motors. Okay, that's... Let's make sure I got all the steel plates. Okay, so I could use some more steel plates down here. Good, good. All right, steel. So, hmm. maybe, uh, is it story time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've not done that for a while, have we? <laughs> yeah, it's because we used to do, if you guys said, don't know, we did mm. a series way back. What season of the NID was it? Was it like season two? two. Or three? Yeah, it was my first season of the NID. I joined in season two. Yeah, right. yeah, we did a, ser a series called Partners in Grind, mm -hmm. where Sal and I basically just flew from asteroid to asteroid, uh, mining, yeah, and telling stories. <laughs> we did. <laughs> it was good. Yeah, it was fun. And this is, I think, the first time that we've done like just the two of us together again. Yeah, since then. Since then, which is kind of funny. Uh... What am I looking for? I forget. I think I need small steel tubs. And... Uh, now, we probably... Like, I know back in the in those days, we did a lot of um, storytelling. So I don't know if we've told all of our stories already. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, mean, I didn't come prepared with a story to tell either. No, neither did I. I was just focused on, <laughs> yeah, we're going to go build a thing. We're going to build, build mm. things. What we can do is, in way of a story, though, is... Hang on, what did I actually mean? Yeah, yeah, I've got some steel plates. Um, is tell people about uh, phase two of our build. What our plan is once we've... What uh, our plan is for yeah, our craziness. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because our craziness doesn't stop here. Oh, no. If you this guys is thought just that this was the extent of the craziness. Oh, no, <laughs> this is just the start. This is the beginning of the craziness. Yeah. That's right. So, did you want to tell it, or do you want me to tell it? Uh, well, I'll I'll give an overview, and then you can talk about how it might work. So, we are our responsibility here is to produce the mining outpost. So we are refining, uh, we're collecting raw ore, and then we're refining it into ingots, which the uh, the bees will come and collect. And uh, but the ore isn't just in that asteroid or that asteroid of course the ore is spread all around the universe um and i think i've identified at least one source of everything but we now need to go collect that ore to drop it off here and and originally so initially it'll be my ship that goes off and does the mining uh but once we've built this station here the intention is, is that we will build an outpost on the richest of the asteroids out there. And we'll build a little shuttle, a little, fl little fleet of shuttles that can uh, come and truck the, uh, the ore back here. So that we're not relying just on me and my ship going out and collecting stuff. So, even though you, you like, even though you I would could, enjoy it. I do, I enjoy it. But uh, if everybody needs five different types of ore, I can only go collect one ore at once. That's true. Mm. 
and yeah. uh, I have had a bite taken out of my ship by a meteor as well. A bite taken out? <laughs> yeah, of yeah. By it, you see, you? <laughs> it it took the the edge off. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh... <laughs> it does. It just looks like it's had a bite taken off the corner. <laughs> Right, what do we need? That's always going to be the question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so... So, yeah, so with the... Um, with that idea in mind of basically going out and collecting all of the... Ast or all of the stuff from all the asteroids, uh, the little, little drone things that... Uh, what, what did you call them? A fleet of... A fleet of... I think I said trucks. Trucks? Or, well, I still want to build a space train. <laughs> 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 I've got a thing I want a space train, so we could make... Or shuttles. Did I call it a shuttle? Yeah, I'm not sure. But, I, I was call, yeah. I'm calling them little drones, right? So, hmm. but, but yeah, we can... Oh, God, now you've got my mind... <laughs> spinning, with, spinning with ideas and it's bad because the amount of scripting that's going to be required to make this work is going to be interesting <laughs> but um uh and I've, I've wanted to get into scripting for a while mm -hmm. so maybe this is my opportunity but yeah. basically the idea that i've got in my brain and we'll see how well that aligns with sal's idea but uh so we've got this major asteroid here, which we're building this by and then there's another asteroid over there so we can use the the asteroid that's just off the side here as maybe the testing asteroid because it's within viewing range yeah we can see if the drones are working if they are doing what they're supposed to be doing um but the idea i think was right to build a like little outposts mm -hmm. so this is the massive refinery right here that we're going to be everything will come back to this and then let's say off by that asteroid over there or off by one you already found you said that had like a bunch of gold right yeah yeah We'll just build like a tiny little outpost that its job is literally just to be right beside an asteroid and the little like a, build a little mining drone that will go into the asteroid and collect the ore, come back to the little outpost, drop it off. And then it just goes back and forth between those two things and then have and this is maybe where we can build your train um, between the outposts and this refining yeah. platform we would have another set of drones or train or a train that would go back and mm -hmm. a space train that would go back and forth yeah. <laughs> between the two. Uh, so yeah, so the, the, the scripting challenge in that is going to be fun. Um, both. And when I say fun, I mean, I mean both actually fun and frustrating because, <laughs> because that's how programming works. If you like programming, that is, and I do, but it, it's always one of those things where, uh, it's going to be th like moments of pure joy as as um, as you get something to work, and then mon moments of absolute frustration as you can't get it to work. Yeah. <laughs> Large steel tubs. But yeah, I'm, I'm, and actually, some one of the other ideas too, and this was even mentioned, I think, in one of my comments as well. And I think we talked about it in the, in the last session too, about maybe even going down to a planet, right? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So it could be fun even to try and like build, like go down to a planet, build a little mining platform on a planet, and then have and then have like shuttles coming up and down from the planet as well, bringing resources back. And we are really close to this planet. Uh, so I think that that might be something that we could do. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be tricky, but um, I think that'd be another fun challenge. And we'll 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 see how long you know this particular uh, build challenge yeah. continues for everyone. But uh, but th those are kind of like short term, long term goals of of the mining experience, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Mm, yeah, I think it should be good fun. So Boris only intended on us being split up into separate groups for, what did he say, a, a couple weeks, of weeks? But yeah, I think he'll probably, it'll take longer than that for him to get bored. And that's usually what determines how 
how long it goes. Right. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, well, actually, I guess it really, because I mean, I can keep, like, mm -hmm. on the mining project, I can yeah. keep imagining up more and more and more and more. Oh, ideas, yeah. Right? Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so it just depends if if the other groups are enjoying um, that same idea, right? Yeah. Of, of like, oh, there's more that I want to do with this. So let's keep going type thing. And uh, just so everybody knows, too, like the plan is so we're doing a uh, kind of a solo session between the two of us mm -hmm. building right now. Uh, but we're also going to do we're going to do the group sessions as well. And I don't, I don't know exactly how we're going to work that yet, but um, like if we're just doing our own thing and trying to be cryptic <laughs> so that other people don't know <laughs> what we're doing, uh, or if, or if on the, in those group ones we're going to try and do group things. So maybe, you know, one thing that we could do in, because I think we're probably in this session, we might get pretty close to being able to actually be able to receive a a B, right? Yeah, I reckon. We're really close right now. As long as we can finish what's what's already here right now, if we can finish what's there, I think you could hook up, drop in all of your ore. We could refine it, yep. start it going. Um, and then a B could pop in on this side and grab stuff. So maybe in the multiplayer session that we have next, uh, that can be one of the goals where mm. we actually try and get the the mirror drone the mirror mirror spidey drones yeah coming over here to get some ore that could be a thing and we're definitely i'm at the spot too where i'm noticing that i need to be building things but uh, uh yeah but we're I not need. quite yeah we're starting to run out of materials ready-made materials aren't we? ready-made materials uh -huh. yeah so let's see well, actually i need displays for this what I'm short on is construction components. Although you said you got a bunch of superconductors being built, right? So uh, yeah, those. yeah. They've uh, well, they've just finished, and I've just got the last start? handful. And yeah. I've, um, is there enough resources over there to get started on the um, the reactor components? We need we need like four thousand of them. Uh, yeah. Well, I think you've got a hundred, and I've got a hundred. So we start making those over at your house. Would make sense. Yeah. I think I've put in some detector components and some radio communication components over there because I think we needed radio communication components or something. Did we? Probably for oh. the the, uh, the, might the have, antenna. No. Actually, I think I think we might have got all of the radio components that we needed. Uh, if you head, if you're heading back to your house, you can switch off the radio components. I think. Okay, uh, I'll head over there in just a minute. I just got, I just picked yeah. up a few things, but I'll. That's all right. I'll, uh, I'll head over. Reactor, yeah, because we need to construction. Let's see here. Yeah, it's like reactor components and superconductor components are the big items that we're missing in the. But then, of course, just construction components and interior plates and all that jazz. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm at your house. Uh, super con superconductor conduits. I've got eight, and that's all we need, I think, and the detector components. Um, but we well, need. You have eight superconductors. Uh, yeah, because I've already moved uh, ninety-two. Okay. Well, we need a hundred in each of the reactors. So we need a total of 200 if you've already moved over a bunch. Yes, yeah, so I've already made 100. Do we need okay. an extra 100? We need one more 100. Okay. Yeah, we need 200 total because there's two reactors. Cool. Uh, and then we also the need 100 that I've 4, used. Right. Components. The 100 <laughs> that I've used were for either the antenna or the um or the other thingy. Um not for a reactor. You, Have we got two for, reactors? Okay. So we need we two hundred. Yes. Right. Oh, you might, maybe is was it the refinery that needs them too? No. What no, needs no. Um, the two communication devices. Oh, the radio things. Yeah, yeah. The radio, the radio antenna, and the oh, other yeah, thingy. Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. And we want four thousand reactor components. 
let's just make sure we've got everything we need for that uh, you are short of gravel I think I can help you out with that <laughs> <laughs> gravel and silver so I'll come and collect some I'll collect things that are here that I want and then I'll come and drop off silver and gravel yeah it, it would be good if we could get to the point today where um where we can dock a bee uh, yep. but your we're, house we're is close. back in sunlight is it yeah okay. you might want to move it a bit closer towards us because the sun's moving the other side of the asteroid from us yeah, it might be a good time to uh we've charged all of the systems as well anyway mm. so let me drop everything off so i don't lose anything if i die and then i will find the asteroid there it is and then i will find my house actually it looks like i can move it back around to the side closer to west now because mm. the shade is coming that way yeah I guess I should just get the. Uh, did you did you say that you got the turret working again? Um, on your ship. Yeah, did uh, you I've plop the... in some? No, but I think you have bullets. Do I? Okay. Yeah, I'll I check. got the turret working on the mining base. Do I have the ability to make hydrogen? I don't know if I actually made the ability to make my ship. Oh no, I do have an oxygen generator. Okay. That's good. Oh, but it's on a... Is it on one of my attached ships? That's probably where it is. I don't think I put an oxygen generator in my house. Because it was like, <laughs> oh yeah, we don't need that. We, um, uh, we don't have oxygen turned on this time. I've got one in my ship if you want to uh, use that. Oh, of course. Right, okay. Um, so I put the, for the, the mining base, I put the bullets in the cargo container, but of course the sorter won't let that through into, so I need to find another way to prime the gun. There we go. Oh, my, my ion man, my ion man is my savior. <laughs> I could fly out with my Iron Man, actually. That's what its purpose is, is to uh, be a little move around quickly in space spot. Okay, the turret now has bullets. Uh, it was set to target small ships and things, uh, but I've switched all of that targeting off, so it's just left of meteors. We need to be careful about that, I think, on... Um, when we build the other guns. All right. Okay, that so... Makes sense. Yeah, it's actually, you know, from a distance here, it's it's looking very much like a, like an actual space station. Yeah. Like the ISS almost, right? <laughs> <laughs> with just the one solar panel sticking out on the side and yeah. a long kind of like piece in the middle. And so it's... once we get the uh, the one like one going on the other side too, it'll look even a lot more like ISS. <laughs> it's funny seeing your house just flying through space. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm stood here welding something with the planet in the background, something that looks very spacey solar panels and round lumpy yep, things yep. and then a house just goes flying <laughs> past <laughs> I, was like, hey, I got you wanna come over on the porch and have beer <laughs> <laughs> I got Guinness in the fridge. <laughs> um on my screen it looks like you're heading off down to the planet. 
I'm, I'm, I'm kind of rotating around the asteroid as I approach. Like, I'm kind of approaching towards the, uh, um, like, where your ship is. Okay. Around the asteroid, I guess. Whoa! My know, ship's just take, you're, kicked. You're it, desyncing it again? I think I so, know. yeah. All Let right, me. So I'll just drop sun? my inventory and then I'll I'll relog because I suspect that you're not where I think you are. There were four of them, all houses, together in Mid Eyed Lane. Together lived Boris. And Anubis. Anubis is always sorry about something. Next door came Minty and Nordic. And Minty really annoyed Nordic by calling him a beast all the time. And the next house was noisy. Cause Apple and Melon always had domestics. But it was the fourth house that the police were interested in because Power suit Sal kept me in the closet. They all lived together in Nidight Lane. A colourful place to be. They all lived together in Nidight Lane. Although together is a little bit subjective. At Boris's and Anubis's. There was a man who could be sometimes mistaken for a hobo smelling of alcohol trying to climb the walls. But it's okay, cause it was Anubis's Canadian cousin, drunk Spider-Man, and a little Santa's helper could be seen going house to house. It appeared when someone got tired of Almond, they'd just hand him on to the next surrogate parents. They all lived together in Nidai Lane. A colourful place to be We all live together on Nidite Lane Although together is a little bit subjective It seems they pissed off the neighbours Something to do with the peel P50 dragon children But that's just Boris, no one questions him Cos that's what happens in Nidite Lane